Welcome to my channel. Today we're diving into one of the classic tricks hackers use to cover their tracks and launch dangerous attacks, IP spoofing. If you've ever wondered how hackers can pretend to be someone else on the internet, this is how they do it. Stick with me till the end, because understanding this could save you from falling victim to some really sneaky cyber attacks. So, let's start simple. Every device connected to the internet has an IP address. It's like the digital version of your home address. Normally, when your computer sends data to another computer, it includes your real IP in the packet's header so the receiver knows where the data is coming from. But in IP spoofing, the hacker changes or forges that IP address. Imagine mailing a letter but writing a fake return address. The receiver sees the letter, but they have no clue where it actually came from. Now why would hackers do this? One reason is to hide their real identity. If they attack a system, it looks like the traffic came from somewhere else. Another reason is to bypass security systems, because some servers trust certain IP ranges. By faking their IP, hackers can slip past filters and firewalls. And the scariest part? It's also used to launch large-scale attacks, like DDoS. In that case, the hacker sends countless fake requests with spoofed IPs, overwhelming the target server until it crashes. Technically, spoofing works by manipulating the packet header at the network layer. Hackers use tools or scripts to modify the source IP field in outgoing packets. The victim receives the packet, thinks it's from a trusted source, and may even reply. But the response never reaches the hacker, since the fake IP doesn't belong to them. This makes tracing the attacker much harder. In the real world, IP spoofing is behind some of the biggest cyber incidents. It's often combined with man-in-the-middle attacks, where hackers intercept communications, or with amplification attacks where spoofed requests trick other servers into flooding a target. So, how do we protect ourselves? While you can't stop spoofed packets from being created, network defenses can detect and block them. Firewalls, intrusion detection systems, and techniques like packet filtering are designed to spot unusual patterns and block suspicious traffic. On a larger scale, Internet service providers play a big role in filtering out spoofed packets before they reach you. The bottom line is that IP spoofing itself doesn't sound very complex, but it's the foundation of many advanced cyber attacks. By understanding it, you're already one step ahead in recognizing how hackers disguise themselves online. If you found this helpful and want to keep learning how hackers really operate, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next deep dive. Thanks for watching, and always remember, stay safe, stay informed, and stay one step ahead of cyber threats.